And so when you take aspirin, what aspirin does is that aspirin prevents the aggregation or the coming together of platelets from forming a clock. Welcome to this Spring Life and Health channel. Uh, today we're going to talk about the use of aspirin in preventing or primary prevention of cardiovascular diseases. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and comment below and we'll uh, come up with questions if you may have them. Cardio means heart and vascular basically means the vasculature which is your arteries and your veins. A combination of diseases of the heart and blood vessels that are occasionally blocked or narrowed or occluded preventing easy blood flow or normal blood flow and so if we can use aspirin as we know aspirin is a blood thinner if we could use aspirin uh, probably we can prevent a blockade from happening because as we all know aspirin's uh, job is to thin the blood so prevent uh, the blood from becoming so thick and uh, of course prevents it from becoming um, prevents clots from forming and thereby protecting your brain from a stroke or your heart from a heart attack it was a study by the u.s um, the united states uh, preventive service uh, tax force uh, that analyzed the use of aspirin uh, in the u.s and they found out that about 40 about 40 percent of men who do not have cardiovascular disease were taking aspirin daily to prevent cardiovascular disease from happening and in the same way about 45 percent of women who have not also been diagnosed with any cardiovascular disease were on some kind of um, aspirin to prevent it from happening in other words many people about half of the population approximately half of the population who have not even gotten any stroke or any uh, uh, heart attack or any uh, kind of a clot in disease were taking aspirin to prevent it from happening in the first place. Uh, that study also showed that about 86, approximately 86 percent of the people who have had a heart attack or a stroke or who have some form of a cardiovascular disease were taking aspirin which is a huge number of people taking aspirin. Now Let's talk about why aspirin. Why is aspirin so popular in preventing cardiovascular disease? And then once we talk about why aspirin, we could potentially understand why a huge number of people in the United States are taking low dose aspirin uh, for preventing cardiovascular disease. Aspirin, the way aspirin works is aspirin is an antiplatelet medication or an antiplatelet drug. As we know, platelets are uh, the units that aggregate in the formation of, of clots. So when a black clot is happening, platelets have to aggregate. They have to come together and form a mass. And then the mass blocks the blood flow um, from going where it would usually go. And so when you take aspirin, what aspirin does is that aspirin prevents the aggregation or the coming together of platelets from forming a clot. It, 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 it irreversibly inhibits platelet aggregation. So when you take aspirin to prevent a stroke or heart attack, what you're doing is you are preventing um, blood clot from happening by preventing platelets from aggregating or coming together. Uh, recently though, there has been a study, I think just this past year, the 20, in 2021, there's a study that has come out. So the recommendations now are that for people from ages 40 to 59, it is okay to start an aspirin, a low dose aspirin, which is like uh, 75 milligrams all the way to 100 milligrams daily to prevent or for primary prevention of heart attacks and strokes, you know, for prevention of cardiovascular diseases. 81 milligrams in the u.s but also in 75 milligrams if uh, that's how you find it in your country all the way to 100 milligrams daily to prevent um, heart attacks and strokes that is the recommendation for people ages 40 to 59. now the only thing is that the new recommendations are, are saying that you should not recommend 
aspirin uh, low dose aspirin for people who are 60 years and above and the reason is that the study showed that uh, for people who are 60 years and over the uh, the benefits the, from aspirin the the benefits of, from aspirin from preventing heart attacks from happening through platelet um, inhibition that benefit becomes less becomes less compared to the side effects of aspirin in people who are well advanced in age people 60 years and older so it is recommended for people 40 to 59 but for people 60 years and older the recommendation is no longer uh, to use aspirin unless unless and that's the caveat unless your prescriber or your doctor works with you and say or thinks and believes that the benefits of aspirin far outweighs the risk of bleeding so you cannot just go in the store and buy yourself an aspirin and take if you are 60 years old you got to work with your doctor you got to work with your cardiologist you got to work with your primary care physician and uh, decide as to whether aspirin is good for you but apart from that people from ages 40 to 59 and I would even include people in the 30s who are morbidly obese, highly overweight, people less than 40 who have a higher risk of heart attack, do could still benefit from using aspirin, uh, low dose aspirin in the form of 81 milligrams to 100 milligrams daily. Um, th for those people, the, uh, the benefits of aspirin far outweighs the risk of bleeding. So I know we have a lot of videos talking about strokes and heart attacks in the channel and we wanted to uh, hit on those um, things we can do that will make you always safe and protect you if if possible but that being said i just want you to make sure that if you are taking an aspirin always let your doctor know especially if you already have uh, uh, problems with um, your gastrointestinal uh, system if there is if you have an ulcer if you have had a bleeding ulcer in the past that has been healed you don't want to take aspirin if you don't have an ulcer currently but you have a bleeding issue where uh, gastrointestinal bleeding you should not take aspirin because aspirin has been known to cause internal bleeding especially in the old people especially in people over 60 years if you don't have any bleeding problems then you could definitely talk with your doctor about using an aspirin to prevent you from getting a stroke or heart attack because they are known to help prevent clots from forming which usually is what causes the problems in heart attacks and strokes a low dose aspirin a day take it with food and i hope you protect yourself from getting a stroke or a heart attack beloved i wish above all things that you prosper and be in health even as a soul prospers